where purpose manifests. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Most High has called you to be fellowshipping with me. The channel that has poetry, digital art, and kingdom topics. Plus rap. In the name of Yeshua, I pray you are increased with positive vibes. Shalom and greetings, hallelujah, glory and honor and praise unto the Heavenly Father and to His Son, Yahushua HaMashiach. Hey, how you doing out there to all of my subscribers, viewers, and my listeners? Uh, May the Heavenly Father continue to increase your territory even more so in a variety of different ways in your life in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach and may his love mercy and kindness continue to rain down upon you in your life hallelujah well we have a great kingdom topic this evening or morning wherever you are uh, on spiritual maturity part Eight. You see it? Part. Hold on. Eight. So, yes, uh, we're going to get into a great, great um, kingdom topic. And um, let's do a recap. All right. So, in Spiritual Maturity Part 7, we went over the importance of chakma wisdom and getting understanding hallelujah and we went over the uh value of 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 knowing believing and understanding with uh the value of knowing believing and understanding the heavenly father's holy word hallelujah and the benefits of his holy word so uh and this next kingdom topic we're still standing on our firm foundation um, of the prophetic word in second peter three um standing on our firm foundation of preparation for the second cleansing of the earth hallelujah so we're going to move to the next segment and get into uh this next uh great kingdom topic Hallelujah. All right. 
Hi, we are fire walking and fire walking and blazing fire walking with the all-consuming fire, the Heavenly Father's presence amongst us. Hallelujah. So we're going to get into how to be an effective witness of Yah. All right, so since we've been standing on our firm foundation in a spiritual maturity uh, series of 2 Peter 3, we know that it says, What manner of a person ought ye to be then in all holy conversation and godly works? All right, so it's a work within and a work without. So how to be an effective witness of Yah, of the Heavenly Father. All right, so we're going to go over a prophetic overview of the expectation for the children of Israel, the bloodline descendant children of Israel, and also um, for the body of the Messiah. Hallelujah. All right, so we know we have the children of Israel, then we have the grafted in. Hallelujah, which is the other nations. Hallelujah. So... Um, and Yeshayahu, Isaiah 4310. Um, this is a prophetic overview uh, of the children of Israel, godly conversation and works, the expectation that the Heavenly Father has for the children of Israel concerning godly conversation and works. Hallelujah. So verse 10, it says, Ye are my witness, saith the Elohim, and my servant, whom I have chosen that ye may know and believe and understand that I am he before me there was no God formed and neither shall there be after me hallelujah all right so in this verse, this is what the Heavenly Father decreed over the children of Israel, uh, over Jacob and his descendants, uh, that ye are my witnesses, saith the Elohim, my servant whom I have chosen. So the children of Israel has a um, eternal servitude that they have to fulfill prophetically. Hallelujah. And 2 Peter 3.10 um, goes into that because being an effective witness, of course, you have to have a godly conversation uh, to present. And you also have to have um, a godly work within and without. Hallelujah. So in the last segment, I kind of went over a, pam a pamphlet that I had Um Christianity, cults, and religion, in which it gives you a great information on different uh, religions and um, what they believe uh, about the Messiah. All right, so for me as a believer, um, and what the Heavenly Father has opened my eyes to, uh, I think it's very important to uh, be an effective witness of the Heavenly Father's great works, uh, of all of his love, uh, loving kindness that he bestows on uh, his children, hallelujah, and all believers, hallelujah. And uh, when you have information on other people um, that are in uh, different religions, um it's very uh, effective for one to be a great witness if you know what they believe uh, about the Messiah. It's a great conversation uh, piece that you can open up with one if someone, you know, approaches you that's of a different belief system hallelujah so i believe like i said in the law and the prophets i i do believe it's important to know um the heavenly father's voice 
in the word. It's important to know the Messiah's voice in the word. And it's important to know the law and the prophets because the voice of the Heavenly Father spoke to the law. I mean, um, spoke to the prophets concerning the, his laws and prophetic words. So it's important to know those three voices. Uh, again, the Heavenly Father's voice the our high priest voice the messiah uh what uh, because his testimony the messiah's testimony is the spirit of prophecy hallelujah so it's very important to know uh what he actually stated uh, when he was here on this earth all right and um the law and the prophets all right it's important to know uh what they stated as well because again they had divine intervention with the heavenly father and uh, have a very prophetic overview also of uh, future events hallelujah so and it's meant for all of the sons of Shem Ham and Japheth to know so all of the descendants the sons and daughters of Shem Ham and Japheth uh, because Shem Ham and Japheth overpopulated the earth after the flood all right so uh, it's important uh, to know the holy word and those three different voices <laughs> Uh, of prophetic overview that's being spoken in the holy word um, to better enhance one's spiritual walk and relationship with the heavenly father hallelujah so how to be an effective witness of yah is a part of spiritual maturity and it's a part of having a godly work within, a godly work without. And um, it's uh, important to have godly conversation. Hallelujah. Um, and to conduct oneself in uh, the manner that the Heavenly Father would have us to conduct ourselves. Hallelujah. As believers. <laughs> so, uh, in Matthew yahoo or matthew 7 5 this is uh concerning the body of the messiah godly conversation and works all right so uh verse 5 um it states thou hypocrite first cast out the beam out of thine own eye and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye hallelujah so again being an, an effective wit witness of course um you have to come to terms with hypocrisy okay so in order to be an effective witness you have to cast out what's in your own eye first before you can go and clearly um cast the moat out of someone else's eye or be able to witness unto them and tell them the right thing to do you have to be doing that yourself so again it goes back to our firm foundation of godly work within and a godly work without how we're conducting ourselves with our conversation and our works hallelujah so all uh believers in the body of the messiah is called to um annihilate hypocrisy Hallelujah. So you have to uh, look within oneself. All right. Um, and um, that's uh, self-observance of your godly conversation, godly works, and doing the best, like I said, that you can do in any given situation. But um, when you annihilate hypocrisy, all right, that definitely causes one to be an effective witness of Yah of his great works and then you're showing forth uh 
that you are to have taken accountability for yourself. Hallelujah. So when you come across others um, to have a godly conversation uh, and you've done the work within and the work without, um, you can compel someone unto the Heavenly Father because again, in uh, Yeshayahu, uh, the prophetic expectation of the children of Israel for eternity, it says uh, that um, ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. <laughs> Before me there was no God form and neither shall there be after me. Hallelujah. So uh, when you're expressing things to your brother to help him uh, or her uh, on her journey, uh, this is what's being expressed, that the Heavenly Father is the God of gods and uh, it's important to know him and believe him and understand that uh, he is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the ancient of days. Hallelujah. All right, so then we have Matthew, Yahoo, Matthew 6, 22. All right, so this is it going over uh, the body of the Messiah as a collective light goal. Okay, it says uh, 22, the light of the body is the eye if therefore thine eye be single thy whole body shall be full of light hallelujah all right so uh the light of the body is the eye so again when the heavenly father opens your eyes you see or your understanding opens your mind the eye gate the mind <laughs> the heart <laughs> um, it says if thine eye be single thy whole body shall be full of light so that's that narrow path walking hallelujah um, and once you're full of light of course that causes you to be an effective witness of Yah Okay, and all of his glory, his majesty up above, the wonderful things that he does. Just, uh, I, I told him, I thank him just for being who he is. Hallelujah. Uh, he has granted us breath. Okay, the gift of breath. <laughs> Hallelujah. He has granted a lot of things hallelujah uh that uh, one can be grateful for hallelujah so the light of the body is the eye the eye the mind the opening up your eyes to understanding uh chakma wisdom uh if therefore thine eye be single thy whole body shall be full of light so that's that narrow path walking hallelujah with the heavenly father so you can be filled with the light of his holy word hallelujah and be able to be an effective witness to others and compel others you know to come closer to him hallelujah uh is the ultimate goal uh, the light goal <laughs> that we as believers have so uh, and standing on our firm foundation we are definitely in preparation uh, for a incorruptible immortality hallelujah so that's when you know you're really full of light when you obtain incorruptible immortality. All right. So that's our ultimate goal of uh, preparation. 
And, um, yeah, so glory, hallelujah to the Heavenly Father. And uh, I think that, like I said, um, the more you grow, the more you have um, understanding, the more you have um, uh, belief, belief knowing and understanding um the more you um will grow in spiritual maturity hallelujah and be an effective witness of the heavenly father in all godly conversation and works hallelujah so let's move to the next segment The path to being filled with light is a task of relief. To Helium Psalms 11.4 Yahweh is in his set-apart temple. Yahweh's throne is in the Shemayim. His eyes examines the children of men. Alright, well we are to my summary page. Hallelujah. So what is spiritual maturity part eight hallelujah so we see that being an effective witness is very key to uh for preparation of preparing ourselves for the second cleansing of the earth all right and uh to compel one even more so to uh grasp hold to the heavenly father's holy word and form a great relationship with him hallelujah is a part of our godly works and our godly conversation uh, so well thank you so much for tuning in and until next time shalom shalom